I'm standing in front of Facebook's data center in Forest City, North Carolina. We're about an hour and a half west of Charlotte, and as you can see, it's a huge facility. We were here two years ago. It was just one building. Now there are three, and we're going to give you a tour inside. Because it's nice and hot and humid. <laughs> Kevin McCammon, who runs this place, can tell you a lot of technical stuff if you want to know exactly how this works. All it really does is clean up the sine wave. This is actually open compute. It has CPUs. It actually takes 277 to neutral. But in short, this is the cloud, a real place where the internet lives. So when you log on to Facebook, yep. this is where you come first? Yes. These servers with their special Facebook blue lights are like triage at a hospital. They help take you where you want to go to find pictures, videos, links, old friends, or celebrities. So pick a server, any server. From there, you're sent to more servers, all meant to handle 1 billion Facebook users. Next, when you upload something to Facebook, this is where it goes, to racks of hard drives. And you can tell how many, basically how many hard drives are in here. To give you an idea, this picture I uploaded of my dog is about 139 kilobytes. The tray Kevin is holding here can hold more than 475 million of those. There are thousands upon thousands of these here. Facebook is always adding more. They have to. Facebook users upload 350 million new pictures a day. So the first question you may have had is, okay, so who did you just take offline? The answer, nobody. Everything is backed up several times, so if one server goes off, there are plenty more to pick up the slack. All of this puts off a lot of heat. So up on the second floor, there are fans to suck in the air from outside, filter it. They're just like the filters that you would have in your house. Cool it, then blow it across the servers to keep them at the ideal 83 degrees. The hot air is either recirculated or blown outside by more fans. If you look off in the distance, it's building one. And finally, we go to the rooftop where you can see there isn't just one of these buildings, there are three, and they're clearing space for a fourth just in case they need more space for the stuff you upload. We got a spot for it. So as you can see, this place is big enough already, but as Facebook grows, this place is only going to get bigger. In Forest City, Jeremy Markovich, NBC Charlotte. Okay.